A city 60 kilometers from the Fukushima plant is going to begin distributing devices to school children to monitor exposure to radiation. This comes after parents express concern about their children's welfare. The mayor of Date City in Fukushima Prefecture announced the plan on Thursday. The city will provide dosimeters to about 8,000 children at a cost of about $300,000. Date City is outside the current evacuation zone, but earlier this month, estimated radiation levels at three locations in the city reached 20 millisieverts per year, the government limit for evacuation. This is 20 times higher than the level recommended by the International Commission on Radiological Protection. This is 20 times higher than the level recommended by the International Commission on Radiological Protection. The dosimeter will give me some kind of relief in my everyday life. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant says radiation levels in Unit 3 are still too high for workers to stay inside for too long a time. It has also found that thousands of tons of radioactive water has accumulated in the building's basement. We humans throw a little dash of stupid into everything we do. Tokyo Electric Power Company sent nine workers into the number three reactor building for about 20 minutes on Thursday. The workers detected 100 millisieverts of radiation per hour near the reactor's containment vessel. The utility also confirmed that 6,400 tons of water has accumulated in the basement. It suspects it may have leaked from breaches in the reactor. The utility plans to inject nitrogen gas into the containment vessel to prevent a hydrogen explosion. It will also install a system to cool the reactor with circulating water. TEPCO is now considering how it will execute these tasks in light of the high radiation levels. TEPCO is now considering how it will execute these tasks in light of the high radiation levels. Radioactive cesium exceeding the legal limit was detected in T made in a factory in Shizuoka City, more than 300 kilometers away from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Shizuoka Prefecture is one of the most famous tea-producing areas in Japan. A tea distributor in Tokyo reported to the prefecture that it had detected high levels of radioactivity in the tea shipped from the city. The prefectural government confirmed the contamination on Thursday detecting 679 becquerels per kilogram of radioactive cesium. The legal limit is 500 becquerels. The prefecture instructed the factory to refrain from shipping out the product. This is the first time that radioactive cesium beyond the legal limit was found in tea leaves picked in Shizuoka Prefecture. After the accident at the Fukushima nuclear power plant, Tea leaves and processed tea contaminated by radioactivity has been found over a wide area around Tokyo. Japan's Central Union of Agricultural Cooperatives has requested that the government buy and restore all disaster-affected farmland. The union, known as JA, submitted the agricultural recovery request on Thursday. The statement says the government should temporarily purchase and then restore all affected farmland. Farmers would buy back the fertile areas in the future. JA has asked the government to set up a new institution that would consolidate land and divide it among farmers in a way that it can be cultivated efficiently. JA Executive Director Shigeo Fuji said in a news conference the government should quickly outline its policy as farmers are deeply worried about their future. Three months have passed since the earthquake and tsunami in Japan led to a crisis at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. But there are still lots of obstacles to be overcome before the situation is brought under control. Tokyo Electric Power Company has revealed the meltdowns are likely to have occurred in reactors 1, 2, and 3. TEPCO is cooling the reactors and trying to contain radioactive leakage. At reactor number 2, it's installed a circulatory cooling system for the spent nuclear fuel pool. But highly radioactive water continues to accumulate in the turbine buildings and underground tunnels. Decontaminating the water is vital for stabilizing the reactors and preventing even more radioactive leakage from the plant. On Friday, TEPCO was forced to postpone a test run of a water decontamination system because of a malfunction.
We are aware that we still face some trouble, but a new system to treat the highly radioactive water will start operation next week. We expect it will work with no problems. TEPCO spokesperson Junichi Matsumoto again emphasized that the company will do its utmost to tackle the difficult work of bringing the situation at the plant under control.